Happy Monday. There's really not that many more Mondays left in the year. We're working as hard as we can as teachers to make sure that we're going to end the year as best as we can, that y'all can do the best on the star test that you can and learn as much as you can before summer. And we know y'all are working your hardest too. As we are standing for the Pledge of Allegiance, let's go ahead and do our uniform check. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now, the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. And now, for a moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. Now it's time for Can You Guess? All right. This week's Can You Guess? That picture is super blurry. Says you should do this every school day. Brush your teeth. Uh, well, really on the weekends too, but especially on school days, especially if you're going to see Mr. Torok brush your teeth. But I don't think that's it. Let's keep going. This helps you make less mistakes. Ah, I don't know if brushing your teeth helps with that, but maybe, maybe bad breath could be a problem. I don't know. Let's keep going. You can do this in every class. I don't think you should be brushing your teeth in class. Um, but you know, if you got stinky breath, maybe you really do need to, but, uh, I don't think it's brush your teeth anymore. What could it be? You do this every day in school. Um, this helps you make less mistakes. You can do this in every class. The higher grade level you're in, the more important this is. Okay, so it's even more important, like in sixth grade, fifth grade, fourth grade, third grade, super important. Hmm? Okay, I'm not sure yet. Let's keep going. The only thing you need is a piece of paper. Uh, oh, yes, I know this, and this is very important. And you know what? Kids, y'all sometimes are hesitant to want to do this, but it is super important. The kids that do this usually do the best. The kids that don't do this usually don't do as well. Did y'all figure out what it is? It is show your work. If you got it, congratulations. If you didn't get it, well, maybe you need to show some more work. No, that's okay. Make sure y'all are showing your work. It will help you make less mistakes, get more right answers, get better grades, make everyone happier, and you can save the whole world. Okay, maybe that's a little bit of an exaggeration, but really, truthfully, the students who do show the most work, usually speaking, they get the most right answers. All right, here is our video of the week. What? Good, 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 good. How? How heavy is that on your head? Could you do that with someone? His neck must be so strong. That's incredible. Okay, a man eating some chicken ink, looks like. Another man eating chicken ink. <laughs> and they're just having dinner with a raccoon? <laughs> hey, excuse me, excuse me, is that okay to pet? Is it okay to pet? He's gonna pet the <laughs> <laughs> He petted the police officer. <laughs> I thought he was going to pet the horse. Did y'all think he was going to pet the horse? That is hilarious. Do not try that with anyone around the school. <laughs> is it okay to pet? All right. Oh, that's right. It's time for goal posters. We have finished up our fifth six weeks. We have one left. We only have one week with six weeks of school left. Y'all's goal posters have been looking great through the whole year. This time, let's go ahead and finish them up for the six weeks. This is your last one. Finish strong. Some of y'all might want six weeks goals. Some of y'all might want star test goals. I'm not sure. But in the end, whatever it is, y'all make sure y'all put down some good goals for the last six weeks. Finish this year strong. All right. It is time for goodness gracious, great things at Barrel. All right. 
Did y'all happen to get to see the pep rally? I know not everyone got to see the pep rally. So I'm going to play a short clip of uh, the leadership team. And we did the pep rally. If you didn't get to go, maybe you're in a younger grade. You'll get to see the exciting pep rally in the future. If you did get to go, you'll probably recognize the leadership doing this. Uh, eventually, the whole pep rally will get posted on the Feral Falcons YouTube page. And you can watch the whole thing. But between now and then, here's just a little clip. They can dance really good. Notice I am not dancing. They can dance so good. Um, they took one look at my dance moves and they said, no chance. We're putting them in a horse costume. So <laughs> I didn't dance at all. They put me in a horse costume, but they did such a great job as did all the other great levels. If you didn't get a chance to watch all the other great levels and all that they did, it was awesome. The skits and the dances were incredible. So hopefully we'll get that posted soon for y'all and y'all can go back and enjoy watching that. We got the star coming. You know the star is coming up. I've got a little tip for you. The first one, you remember we talked about it last time. Put your thinking on paper. Actually, that was basically our uh, can you guess this week. Put your thinking on paper. You've heard me say it now three times for the star test tips. You heard it today on uh, can you guess. It is probably the most important thing you can do on the star test is put your thinking on paper. The second thing is prove your answers. We just took the reading test, so we don't have to talk about that. Um, and then all subjects actually ask, is this a reasonable answer? Does this even make sense? And then the third one is label your work, right? So quite often I see kids like drawing pictures for science or adding numbers and math, but they're like 26 and 38 and they get the answer and they're like, oh, I don't know, 64, 64 what? And they say 64 dogs, but the question was asking for cats and they choose the wrong answer after all that work. The same thing goes for science. Just slap a label on there, write what it stands for. You will make far, far less mistakes. It helps so much. All right, I just want to give a big shout out to all the kids, all the students that tested the reading test last week. Y'all worked so hard. I got to test uh, twice last week with groups and both of the groups I tested with did such a great job. They put their thinking down. They worked hard. We had kids taking five, five and a half hours. So if you're one of the kids that takes a long time, don't worry about it. There was so many students working hard. Y'all understand what's at stake and y'all did a really great job. No matter what the scores come back on that reading test, I am proud of you. And I know your reading teachers are proud of you because you worked so hard. You did your best and you left it all out there. Congratulations on that. All right. I am super excited because we got another student joke. This week's joke comes from a sixth grader, Israel. Here is his joke. Where do two walls meet at? The corner store. <laughs> <laughs> the corner store, two walls. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Thank you so much for that joke. And we got another joke for y'all next week coming. I've already got it recorded. If you have a joke and you want to be on the announcements, send it to your teacher, find me, and we'll get you on there. Well, y'all be kind, work hard, do something nice for someone. And when we get the uh, feral pep rally up there, go watch that. And I'll see y'all next week. Show your work.